What is going on, everybody? It's your boy once again, Brian, aka C CB Poppy, along with my boy Brandon, and we are two days removed from the Alpha One King of Hearts tournament. Now, if you've missed the event, uh, you missed a great event. However, if you do want to catch the replay, or sorry, the, if you do want to catch the event, um, it should be uploaded online. If you go to High Spots wrestlingnetwork.com and uh, make sure you get a subscription to that you'll be able to check that out as well as past alpha one wrestling events so make sure to stay tuned to alpha one wrestling they will let you know when the full event is posted but meanwhile we are going to go over the predictions we made over a week ago and right now we're going to let you know exactly what happened so just to just to re uh, fresh everyone's memory on the matches, your opening contest was a quarterfinals tournament matchup. This one was between Rhett Michael David and Easy E. Now, in our prediction videos, I do believe you, Brandon, you said Easy E for the victory. I did, and I went for Rhett Michael David. However, Brett Michael David did go over uh, Easy E. However, by submission, by using a move, I've probably, I don't know if I've ever seen this done by BMD before, but he actually won it with a Texas Clover Leaf submission. Have you ever seen that? Yes. It is called the, the Canadian Maple Leaf. Okay. I've, I know, maybe I've probably missed it, but I've, I maybe, or maybe I just never seen him do it that often. But yeah, so he based, so basically Brett Michael David um, won by submission with, I guess, what brand, or what? Canadian Maple Leaf. Canadian Maple Leaf, yes, sorry. Or otherwise, most people know it as the Texas, the, Clover. the Texas Clover Leaf. So that, so BMD goes on to the semifinals of the King of Hearts tournament. Your next match for the quarterfinals, again, is. Uh, the big man, the clutch, Jesse V versus Kirk Warmack, and we all know how powerful Jesse V is. And this was the six year return of Kirk Warmack. Unfortunately, this was a very quick match. Jesse V squashed him to jump to move on to the semifinals. So your prediction was correct, and unfortunately mine was wrong. W. So so far, yeah, so so far we're tied one for one right now. So we have our next quarterfinal matchup is uh, the Diamond Tiger Kobe Jurst versus Bone Crusher Steve Brown. Now this was not, this is a non-title match for the outer one, for the Alpha One Outer Limits title. It's announced that the title was going to not be on the line in this match. Now, as we said in the predictions, these are two men who we've probably never seen face before, and these, the men, literally these, these guys went back and forth. But, however, your victor for this matchup would be, Stone, would be Bone Crusher Steve Brown, again, who went on to the semifinals. Then, your final quarter ma final matchup is, oh, sorry, but just before I get to that, right after that match ended, after Kobe lost, Kobe Durst got on the mic and he cut a promo saying that we're going to see a new side of Kobe Durst, a more aggressive side of Kobe Durst, which I'm, which would not shock me in the, in the latest because we've seen how aggressive Kobe can be. And if you've seen Kobe's matches in the past, if he was that aggressive then, and if he's going to be more aggressive now, then he's going to be an unstoppable force in Alpha One Wrestling. So. Make sure to look out for that. Then your final quarterfinal matchup was for the Alpha Male title. As we mentioned in the prediction video, the Alpha Male title will be defended in every single match of the tournament. Where you have the champion, the Golden Gun, Mark Wheeler, with the clutch Jesse V by his side, taking on Jody Threat. Now, Brandon, I have to tell you, this 
was a great match. Jody, she really, really took it to Mark. Very aggressive. So many close pinfalls. But as you called it, and still your alpha male champion, Mark Wheeler came out on top. And of course, because you have Jesse V by his side, there was a little distraction from Jesse V for Mark to get to the victory. Now on to the semifinals of the tournament. The first semifinal match would see BMD taking on Bone Crutcher Steve Brown. Now, I do believe these men have faced each other previously. Maybe not as a singles match. I think there was a Rumble or a Battle Royal Star Start I think so too. Previously, it was something roughly around there. I, I, don't think so. remember. I don't think they've ever done one on one. No, I don't think they've ever done one on one, so this would be the first encounter. However, shock in the shocking turn of events, we see BMD come out on top via Kano because some of the action actually did spill to the outside, and unfortunately, Steve Brown could not make the 10 count in time, so BMD goes straight to the finals. Then your last semi-final match would see, well, the big clutch, Jesse V, taking on Mark Wheeler. Now, as soon as this match started, it looked like Jesse and Mark were gonna go at it. But of course, Jesse V, being Mark's muscle, pulled a Bass at the Beach, Bass at the Beach 2000, or the Finger Poke of Doom style, version in 1999 Jesse V lay down for Mark Wheeler so he can get the easy one two three and that would bring us to the main event which would be later on which would have BMD taking on Mark Wheeler for the King of Hearts trophy and for the Alpha Male title then your second to last match on the card was a two out of three falls between the Space Pirates, Space Monkey and Shane Saber, taking on Fight or Flight, Gabriel Fuerza, and, and Von Virgo. Sorry, I almost had a break part there for a second. So your first fall, we saw Fight or Flight getting the victory. And actually, the Fuerza was actually distracting the ref. And Von Vertigo, he was on the outside of the ring, smashed Smith Bunky with a board, and they got the easy victory. So that was one victory for Fight or Flight. Second fall, we saw Space Pirates come out on top. However, um, you've probably seen this, I'm not sure if you've seen this done with them or I think you. I think I actually saw this recently. However, Shane Saber, Space Monkey was actually actually in Guerrero Fuerza, but Shane Saber used the ropes for leverage for a leverage. So I'm not sure if you've seen. I'm pretty sure you've seen that before. We use it. The tag partner uses it to themselves as leverage. Mm -hmm. So that was the second fall. So they were tied one to one. The third and deciding final fall was actually one by the Space Pirates. So the Space Pirates were to claim the victory. Now, right after the match, teams showed mutual respect to each other. But if you have not seen what happened after the match, this may shock you. And a shocking turn of events. Shane Saber, a tag team partner of Space Mom. They've been tag team for what, a couple of years now or so? Maybe a couple championships in between. Yeah, so they've, like they've held many champ championships together. Shane Saber turned around, speared Space Monkey. Why? Why would he do that? Because well, it's about time. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. That's that's true. And I'm pretty sure this was going to this was probably going something we would have seen later on. But Shane Saber's reasoning, you can overhear, he did, I don't think he was, no, he wasn't on the mic, but 
We overheard him ringside saying that the reason why, because any time they lost a match, it was Space Monkey who ate the pin. And he basically blamed Space Monkey for their losses in previous matches. Now, I agree. If you, in case if you missed it, there was a triple powerbomb spot with the help of Fight or Flight. So, is this a possible alignment with them? We don't know for sure. But make sure to stay tuned to Alpha One Wrestling to find out what is going on between Fight or Flight, Shane Saber, and Space Monkey. So, we see a possible feud in the future, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in the alignment between those two. Then, in your main event for the finals to crown a King of Hearts tournament winner and the alpha male title on the line, Brett Michael David wrestling his third match of the evening, as well as Mark Wheeler going head to head for the alpha male championship. So this match went back and forth until about near the peak of the end of the contest where Brett Michael David threw Mark Wheeler into the corner. However, Wheeler pulled referee Brad Myers into the corner and fortunately got taken out of the match so there's no referee for the match. So of course, Mark Wheeler being the man he is, took advantage of that and had some assistance with Jesse V. However, uh, we had referee John Turnham come down to the ring where it looks like BMD was claimed as a victor of the match. However, when referee Brad Myers got to, he said, no, 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 no. He reversed the decision and made and disqualified Brett Michael David. So still, your alpha male champion and king of hearts 2021 tournament winner, the Golden Gun, Mark Wheeler. So that was your entire card and results for the So album. what you're telling the people is my prediction was true. Yes, so... Because you can't go against the champ. <laughs> That's right. So in terms of the overall predictions winner, goes to my boy, Brandon Cook. So congratulations to you, sir. For Wheeler's the man. There you go. So looks like the reign of the Golden Gun will continue to reign on. And who knows who will be that next challenger to step up to possibly dethrone Wheeler as the alpha male title. So you could technically say this is a golden reign. Yeah, it could be, yes. I, yeah, you could technically say that. This is the One golden shot reign. kill. There you go. Now, as I mentioned before, if you would like to see this event in its entirety, make sure to stay tuned when Alpha One Wrestling has the information to go to highspotswrestlingnetwork.com, sign up, and uh, you can see that, as well as check out other previous matches. Now as well, if you are still a member of Impact Plus, there are previous events still up on that, on the app as well. As well as if you are also a subscriber to uh, IWTV.com, um, if you are a subscriber to that, there are some events there as well too. So, but moving forward, after this event, every event that Alpha One Wrestling loads up to online, will be on High Spots Wrestling Network T um, high, high sorry high, sport, high Spots Wrestling Network dot com and you can check out all the apps there. So the next time that Alpha One Wrestling comes to Oshawa will be on Saturday, October twenty third, right back at the Moose Lodge at seven thirty one Will Street in Oshawa, Ontario. Now, um, as far as Alpha One Wrestling returned to Hamilton, 
it is unknown at this time. So again, please make sure to stay tuned to all of the social media outlets for Alpha One Wrestling. Make sure to go to Facebook, just type in Alpha One Wrestling, their Twitter account, at Alpha One Wrestling, as well as their Instagram, at A1 Wrestling. Um, if you, if you want to check out some other content from Alpha One Wrestling and you don't have a subscription to IWTV, High Spots, or Impact Plus, you can check out some some full matches, match clips, as well as promos by going to Alpha One Wrestling's YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash Alpha One Wrestling. So for myself and Brandon Cook, we will see you in the next one.